Hey guys, today I'm going to do a birthday book haul, it's a tad late, my birthday was on the 23rd of April but since then I've kind of accumulated a few more from internet books and there's also one that I've bought, well not quite bought, I'm definitely buying it like tonight so I'm going to include a bit of that. Laura's over in the corner there just planning the answers to the next video so let's get going. The first book that I got, Laura actually bought me, and I've wanted this for, well, since I heard about it. It's The High Mountains of Portugal by Jan Martel, who wrote Life of Pi. It's about just a journey, and it's like a, it's actually like a road trip. I absolutely adore it so far. I'm about 100 pages in already, and it's about this guy called Thomas, whose wife and child have sadly died, like, right at the start there, so that's not a spoiler. And it's just about the journey he's going on to get this crucifix back, because he thinks it's going to show God that, how dare you take my family away. And it's just really sweet so far but it's also really funny and I'm really enjoying this so look out for it in a wrap up because I think it's going to get quite a good review. The next thing also that Laura got me, she knows me very very well, is As the Passengers by A.S. King. I really like A.S. King's writing, I mean I've read Reality Boy and what's the one before that? Oh, Everybody Sees the Ants and this did not disappoint, it was up the same street as that like contemporary with like a tad of like magical realism because she talks to the planes but then the people on the planes actually receive a bit of like her love and I just really like that about this book and it's really good for um, people that are coming out as well because the whole storyline is about Astrid and she's not sure if she's bi or lesbian and then she finds out in the journey of the book and I really enjoyed that but it's really good for people that are questioning as well who are not sure and how the family copes with it. I really liked how family was portrayed in this book as well. And yeah, I gave it four stars already, but I haven't actually wrapped it up yet, so spoilers. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. The next thing I bought actually for myself offline on Amazon, it was like a three for two, it was really cool, is The Man in the High Castle by Philip Dick. And I just really fancy stuff like this at the minute. I read Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grad and I really enjoyed it. And that's all about like if the Nazis still won World War Two. And this is about the same thing. And I just really like that sort of thing, like alternate universe, like alternate endings, like how do people live? And I just think it's just a really good concept. And I don't really know much about it other than I really wanted to watch the series too, but I never got around to it. But this is the book, so if I enjoy this, I might try and watch it. The next thing that I have, I also bought for myself, was Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I don't know anything about this other than since reading Wrath and the Dawn, I want more things in sandy, deserty places. So if anyone knows what this is about, just drop a, drop a note to me down below. I mean, it looks good. It looks very good. It looks a bit like... There's going to be a bit of magic, but I'm not entirely sure. But Rebellion in the Sands and Nights and Arabia, I just really like that sort of thing. Going along with other books that I've read recently that sounds like this book, Laura's got me into the Unravel Me series, well, Shatter Me series by Tira Maffey. And in that, Juliet touches people and they, like, die. And in The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury, she touches people and they die. So I'm feeling this book. Also, it's a trilogy. Um, I feel like there's going to be a love in it because she's going to fall in love with someone. I reckon so. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I kind of can guarantee it. But yeah, I'm just feeling this sort of thing recently with like a strong, powerful protagonist who like gets away and gets even stronger as like the book goes on. And yeah, I'm hoping this is good. If anyone's read it, like let me know if you enjoyed it down below. And the last thing that I got for my birthday was Volume 2 of Outcast by Kirkman and Azacheta. Um, my boyfriend bought me this, I'm really excited because it's the second one and I enjoyed the first one but it takes a few to get into them so hopefully I'm gonna enjoy it. I mean it's about this guy who has powers to like keep the demons away, it's all about possession and like his, I think it was his mum was possessed by a demon and it killed her eventually but he was protected by it and he could lure it out of her and he's working with this priest in this town who's been cursed by this man for like interfering with that sort of black magic and it looks really promising they're making it into a series and obviously Kirkman's done it so if it's anything like The Walking Dead it's going to be amazing so I have high hope for this so that was my birthday book haul it was quite small for me actually but I didn't really ask for many books this time oh the book that I was going to say I nearly forgot is The Rose and the Dagger I talked about Wrath and the Dawn earlier but I'm going to get the, pre the sequel to that and it's going to be so good I'm really excited for it I mean it's £10 on Amazon which is a bit expensive but it's a hardback and I kind of want the hardback to match the Wrath and the Dawn so I'm going to hopefully order that pretty soon so those are the books that I bought for my birthday book haul and I will see you on the next video bye